John Morant always got his father there. Instead of his father enjoying the scene and getting drunk at the game, he better school his son. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Now, Fat Joe was the latest to actually speak out on regards to the John Morant situation. And he actually even touched on uh, T. Morant, Ja's father, in regards to, you know, at 23, you know, signing a deal worth a couple hundred million dollars, being the face of several brands, uh, and getting his own shoe with Nike, all these things. He needs guidance right now is what Fat Joe was saying. Uh, and he actually touched on that. And, you know, Fat Joe said, hey, when I talk like this, I usually lose, you know, friends in the NBA, but it is what it is. Uh, take a listen here of what uh, Fat Joe had to say. And recently we got the biggest thing in the world about John Morant. John Morant, if you don't know who he is, he's the biggest thing in basketball. LeBron James, we love him. Living legend broke the record. But LeBron James' time of major highlights, it's over. Allen Iverson, the greatest inventor of the style, he retired. There's a new guy named Ja Morant, which is must-see TV. Ja Morant allegedly punches a young 17-year-old kid in the face. Who's out of get? That was the rumor all over social media. I don't believe it. But you have to understand that in the NBA, NBA is white America, middle America, global, black America. You have a position to play, which is called very safe very responsible keep it clean now why joe why can't he show a gun on instagram because he has little kids that look up to him differently this ain't gangster rap drill this and this and that this is the nba now whenever i talk like this i lose friends in the nba and and and, and players right but John Morant always got his father there. Instead of his father enjoying the scene and getting drunk at the game, he better school his son before the kid loses his career, loses all the greatness he got to bring. Now you got to understand, as a fan, I'm selfish. I don't want nothing to happen to John Morant. Because he got so many Christmases, so many birthdays, so many times to light him up on TV. He is must see TV. I do not want this kid to get in trouble. They say he's still young. That means nothing. You're still young. You go to college, you go to the NBA, they raise you right. You cannot be out there punching people with a gun. You know what they do to this kid? They freeze him and he never makes another dollar. When I look at a young kid, I look at him as he has a hundred families that could benefit off of him. He can hire a hundred families. Now, I see you, Bishop. I see Adam Rodriguez too. Adam says nobody's bigger than the game. Yet nobody's bigger than the game. They will fucking disappear his ass and have him doing his thing in Turkey. He be in Turkey. He'll be in Taiwan. He will not be playing in the NBA. Nobody's bigger than the game. Somebody tell this future billionaire to sit his ass down. And every time I talk like this, you got people, oh, you're a sellout, Joe. You're, no, I'm not. I want the young brother to make his billion dollars. If he plays the game right, 
he will be a billionaire. Do you understand that? Do you know what a billion dollar does to the community? Does for philanthropy? Does for giving back? Does for inspiring uh, our youth? Does for uh, his family tree being wealthy forever? This is what we're talking about. Being broke, barely making it, or being a billionaire. He needs an uncle, somebody who cares about his career, somebody who gives a Because a lot of times, even us, we're guilty of people just coming along for the ride. Oh, my man's number one. I'm going to fuck these girls. I'm going to like it. And they don't care about you and your future and your career. And every time John Moran in Christmas time when it was snowing and he grabbed the ball and went outside and dribbled in the ice and it was and went to every AAU and went to every gauchos around the world bro you did not come this far to fuck your shit up your family has to really be your family and talk to you and I hope that somebody gets them a copy of this because I don't make money off John Moran. I'm just telling you the truth. There's two ways this could go. You could keep it real, which is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life, and go broke and get the fuck out the NBA because they're not going for an NBA player pistol whipping dudes and pulling out. They're not going for that. They're not going for, I'm telling you, they're not, I don't care how nice he is. He will be playing in uh, Serbia, Montenegro. And his father, who likes to go like this and a three point at every game and talk his shit, he better love the game in Turkey. Do you get what I'm telling you? Now, I'll, I'll agree. I mean, Fat Joe, again, he's another one that has some terrible takes at times, but. He's giving them cold hard facts right now. Uh, if John Morant gets a hold of this and, and listens, uh, because, and I agree, you know, T. Morant, he, his father seems to want to be his homeboy, based on what I see, going to the house, drink parties with John and his boys. I mean, I understand that you're not an old old father, but at the same time, you're his father, and so you should want what's best for him. And obviously what he's doing now is not best for him. So I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you next time. Peace.